Well, happy Easter, everyone. Um, well, it's kind of a dark and gloomy day. It's snowing outside. My name is Tammy, and this is my very first live video, so I'm like really nervous. Okay, what I'm going to attempt to do today is, uh, I guess do, do a bottom pour, which I'm going to use this guy here. And then I'm going to also do a screen on top of that. So it's going to kind of like sit on the 12 by 16. And we're going to pour it in through that. So I'm hoping to get like different colors in different directions. But at the same time, using silicone in this, uh, possibly get some, some nice little cells forming in the paint. Today, what we have here is I'm going to use my black flow troll. So this is like a, I'm thinking like a three to one black flow troll. Just black acrylic paint with some flow troll. I get this online. It's actually cheaper at Home Depot or Lowe's. So that's a good thing. Go there and get it. I buy it by the gallons and then I just pour it into my little one just to refresh everything. Now the color we're gonna have, you know what, we'll actually do this. We'll put the black here. Another color we're gonna do is we're going to do the purple acrylic paint. This is actually from Crafter Square, which is from the dollar store. I love this color. This is gonna be a three to one with Floetrol mix. Another color, we're gonna do a deco art. We're gonna do a neon pink, neon blue, Neon green, neon orange, neon yellow, and a neon red. Okay, so we're going to use all these paints. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the black for the background. Just because last time I used a white background and it just came out kind of too bright and I didn't like the colors. So what we're going to do is, I've got these that I reuse, I get these from the dollar store. I don't remember how many I pack, but they're fairly cheap. But I like mixing my own colors. Plus, when I do that, I can also mix oil into it, so I can depend on how much oil. Uh, usually I use two to three drops of silicone. And I use this guy right here. I am new to acrylic pour, pouring, so... This is the first one I tried. I mean, there's others out there that I've heard about, and uh, I bought this. So we're going to see how this does. It does pretty good for me being a beginner. I don't know any different, I guess. Um, also, I want to say that everything that I'm doing today is what I've learned online by watching YouTube videos. I've watched a lot of YouTube videos. So I'm no expert. I'm a beginner just like you. And I'm just putting together, I guess, um, all the do's and do nots that I've heard on TV or, or, or other videos, I guess I should say. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and um, I'm going to mix all these three to one. Three parts Floetrol to one part paint. And then I'm going to add a little water. And... Um, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and start stop here. We'll get them primarily mixed up, up to the water phase, and then that way you can see how much water I'm putting in. All right, we'll see you soon, and we'll be back soon. All right, I'm back. Um, you know, with me being a beginner to the video editing, I figured I'd go ahead and show the whole process of mixing this. Um, only because I can learn how to edit. Okay, so we're going to add this to the other part. And what I am doing now is just lightly mixing up my float trial. I'm not shaking it. I don't want to add any bubbles. So, this is my little process. I, I am so horrible. I do not measure whatsoever. So, I am going to go... About, about there. I think I want to fill up the cups a little bit, but I also want to leave room for water. So we'll 
we'll go there. I know, and this is horrible. Not measuring. Oh, that was a little faster. Alrighty. Oh, and I just started using the Lazy Susan, I guess, probably a couple weeks ago. And it's, oh my gosh, it's simplified my life. It's so much easier. In time, I'd like to actually step up my little Lazy Susan. Oh, that was a glob. Yeah, try not to get too many globs in there. Because you'll have to pick them out sooner or later. So yeah, this guy is good for now. Um, like I said, I'd like to upgrade. Maybe when I get some more money saved up, I'd like to step up to something that really spins. Because I also want to try the spin art. Okay, so now we have our flow troll mixed in. So now we're going to set these guys up. Let's see, this was the pink. I almost got confused with that one. That one we're going to have to darken up a little bit. Because I think that one wants to be a red. So we're going to just do a dollop. Well, I call it dollop. Okay, maybe not. There we go. Just about that much. Yellow. It's mostly just to get the color in there, I think. It's kind of nice though. We'll do that one. We're gonna do green. Oh, that's pretty. I thought I already added something to this, but maybe not. Okay, and we got purple. Very nice. How do I... Okay, and then we've got red that we're going to add to this guy, just to darken it up. There we go. Okay, so as you see, it filled up the cups a little bit more. But... Let's see... We still want to leave room for the water. Yeah, we're going to make that really dark. Okay. And I should be wearing gloves. I've, I've gotten lazy. All right, so now for stirring, I like to use my reused paint sticks. So I just kind of like to pick a color. There's a pink. We'll take, stick that one in blue. We'll stick that one there. We'll stick that one there. There. And I mean, you really could use one for each, or just one, just wipe it off all the way other. Oh, we got cat hair. Yeah, dag nab it. Okay, where is. That looks good. So we're just going to mix these up. Again, we're going to mix them up nice and soft. You don't want to like vigorously stir it. One gal actually said she likes to mix it this way and then kind of like smash it so it's really mixing in nice. Oh yeah, okay, so it kind of folds over itself. And you know, and I might, I might speed up this part. I might learn how to do that as well. Learn a lot of stuff today, that's cool. You know, because it's just, everybody's kind of depressed right now. You know, it, economy's taking shit, everybody's getting fired or laid off, however they want to look at it. Oh yeah, very nice.
don't know. I might darken that up a little bit. Oh, uh, maybe not, because we are going with a black background. So do we, we don't want dark colors, we want bright colors. Oh, we don't want that piece in there. Ooh, good thing we saw that. We're gonna throw this away. Well, I think we're gonna have to darken that up. I don't like that color. All right, so this is what we got. Um, I think I want the yellow yellower, if that makes sense. And I think I want the blue bluer. And, oh yeah, the black blacker, definitely blacker. I love these squeeze bottles, but they tend to clog up. So we'll try another one. Uh, let's see, it's a silver. I know I got another black here somewhere. Sorry. All right, what is this? You know what, we're gonna add some more of this. We're gonna use Anita's acrylic. You know, I started buying Anita's. Um, when I first started, I was buying stuff from the Dollar Tree. I know uh, several times earlier when I was talking about these little cups, I mentioned Dollar Store. It's actually Dollar Tree. Um, so we're going to try some of this. And they actually work out pretty good. I guess what I'm getting at is there's a lot of expensive paints out there. Um, anywhere from like, I don't know, eight, ten bucks for eight fluid ounces. This is $2.99 at Hobby Lobby. $2.99 Hobby Lobby. $2.99 Hobby Lobby. They have all different colors. Not just colors you wouldn't even imagine. I mean, they've got like... I'm getting off topic here. 
but they've got like really pretty paints and they're good they work good now they do have like metallics um let me grab a metallic here just to show you and still their metallics are beautiful $3.99 that's awesome so I went out and spent like 50 bucks just on paint buying Anita's and most of the time that's what I use but I wanted to try these deco arts because I found this in what is this like a 12 pack I'll have to get the container and I'll, I'll put my links down below because I bought that off of Amazon. Oh, that's a pretty blue. Okay, so we got that. I've got to mix this one up still, too. Oh, yeah, much better. It was just like a faded yellow. I didn't like it. And this one, I don't know if we're going to get the black that I want. But you know what? This will still be okay. Oh, yeah, and see, that one actually had a little oil in it already. So I won't put too much oil when I mix this. Oh, there we go. Now we're getting blacker. Awesome. I don't want to go too dark because the background will be black. So I just want to kind of get like in between. I almost spilled some black into that yellow. That would have been bad. Alright, so this is what we have. Okay, so now we're going to look at the consistency. It's it's forming a mound. I hope this is focusing right. Can you see that? How it forms a mound. We'll look at another one here. You know, actually all of these are looking pretty good so far. I think I, I like the way they're coming out. I don't know, maybe we won't have to use water. Maybe a little bit of water on this one. So, I've got a little bottle. I have it color-coded. I have it labeled. Because I also have alcohol. A pink one for alcohol. And I think a yellow one for witch hazel. So we're just going to spray a little bit in there. Whoops, I'm getting the screen. There we go. Spray a little bit in there. Mix it around. You don't want to use too much water because then you'll start to affect the composition of the paint. Mix it good. It's still a little bit thicker than the others. That was a nice big spray. Because I want it kind of thick and I want it kind of runny, you know, kind of like in between because of the screen. I want it um, thin enough to where it's going to go through the holes in the screen. I think that'll work. It's still kind of thick. We'll leave that like that. Okay, and I think I was okay with the black. We'll add a little water to that one. It doesn't need much. Okay, we got another glob in this black. Hey, it just dawned on me it's Easter. Well, it didn't dawn on me that it was just Easter. But it dawned on me that I'm using Easter colors, which is kind of cool. So we'll check this one. That's a little thick. We're going to add a little water to that. Stir that guy up. a little bit better. It's still thick though. And after a while you'll get the feel of using the water. It was kind of, I was like scared at first and I would just like use one little squirt and I would mix it. One little squirt, mix it. Finally after like a hundred little squirts I finally said screw it and just like 
three large squirts. That's usually where I start. Blue is thick, we're gonna water that down a little bit. See, like there, I didn't even hesitate. It was just three large squirts. So I don't have any lighting up yet. That's something that I wouldn't mind investing in. I watched some videos yesterday and they were talking about the expenses they had to start with initially. And I'll just, I'll take it one at a day, you know, one day at a time with the expenses. But this is like a hobby I really want to get into. And with everybody staying at home right now, everybody working from home. Alright, I think my blue is finally where I want it. Dripped a little orange in there. That'll be fine. Let's mix this up with a little water. See, and I kind of sprayed it too hard because now I got some bubbles in here. I wasn't paying attention. I was just try trying to hurry along and that's one thing I need to work on because in this hobby you cannot hurry along. Nothing. See, I did it again. There's more bubbles. They'll come out. They'll float up to the top. And if not, we'll actually uh, hit the canvas with a torch later to remove any bubbles that we missed. Alrighty, I think we're good there. Okay, so we did the paint, Lutrol, water, and now we're going to figure out what we want oil in. Oil, they say you use two to three drops. And they said you could use more. I tried more, but then I learned that it's kind of hard to clean off the canvas because the more oil you use, the more oil you're going to have left on your canvas. And you have to get all the oil off before you actually seal it. So that's another step. You'll end up having to clean your canvas prior to sealing it. So I've cut my drops down dramatically. So, you know, I like the black because it's going to be like a separating color. One, two, three. We're going to put three in there. We're going to do... One, two, one, two, one, two. Gosh, should I do all colors? Hmm. You know what? To heck with it. Let's do two drops in each. Okay, and we'll put some in there as well. Okay, I hope you can see that. You got two drops on top. Okay, so do we want big cells or do we want little cells? Little cells, I believe, comes from mixing up the oil with the paint quite a bit. I want, I want kind of, like, kind of in between. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go, we're going to do this. We're going to go this way. Oh, it's Easter. We're just going to do a cross. That's what we're doing. Okay. I probably should take all these sticks out, too. Yeah, we're just going to do a cross. Oh, there we go. I got that one. And we're going to start pulling these out. Because I don't want to make a mess. Pull that one out, pull that one out, pull that one out. God, I love these colors. Oh, I was going to show you um, what container these came in. Let me just mix these up for it so I don't forget. And across. 
like that. And we're going to do a cross. Bink. Do that. That was more of a cross and a circle kind of deal. But it'll work. Like that. And like that. Okay. Alright, so on the black, we're going to go a little bit different. We're going to do like a couple figure eights, just to break them all up so we can get that black really in there. Oh, I like that. Okay. You know, and if anybody's watching that knows how to do this stuff, sure, leave me some comments, because I am a complete beginner just trying... Trying to make my mark in the world, I guess. I don't know. It's kind of weird to say, but I'm here doing YouTube and I never thought I would. Okay, so we mixed them up a little bit. And we are going to let those set. And I see bubbles popping up. Oh, I got some blue in there. Darn it. Okay. So now. What we're going to do is we're going to get ready for our pour. So stay tuned, and we'll be right back. Okay, so we got all our paints mixed and our oils. And I, before I go on to this, I wanted to show you what paints I'm talking about. These I found on Amazon. It's got 12, 2 ounces. I just wanted to try them because they had the neon colors. But it comes with the whole kit as well. It comes with your normal colors as well. So, I like them so far. Like I said, I'll put the link down below. We're going to get a paper towel ready. Okay, and then, like I said, we're using a 12 by 16 canvas. Kind of loose. Can you hear that? Kind of like a loose tarp. Okay, trick for that is we are going to take our water and we are going to mist the inside. That doesn't sound like a mist. Okay, try to get up in these corners as well. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to try to, I guess, rub it in a little bit. So I usually rub in once this way. Turn it around to get the front. Okay. And then I rub it again this way. Hear the change in that? Oh, it's tightening up. You can hear it. There we go. That's the sound we want. There it is. The drum. That's exactly what you want. Okay. So, we're going to put this guy on here. Very nice. I'm going to look at the screen, make sure we're kind of centered. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so... We are going to put this in the middle. You know what, actually, I want to wipe this down with alcohol. I don't know why, but something's telling me to. It has nothing to do with that I dug this out of the trash. Right there in the middle. And you know, one, two, three, four, five. We got five openings that we're going to be pouring paint down. So, you know, how do we want to do this? Do we want to do it angled? It'll come out there and there. You know what? I kind of like this because it's got like one here, two here, and then these come out this way. 
so we'd have some like dark spots we can we can add to those okay and we're gonna take my little screen this I think it came off a blower or a weed eater and I just happened to find it outside in the shop and that oh my god that's perfect so okay so what I've seen some people do is like go through and you know lay out some paint just so that it flows and I think we're gonna do that I think we're gonna lay out lay out the black paint so gloves where's my gloves couple times I didn't understand why we wore gloves because it was so fun that it was like finger painting but then I noticed my cuticles were cracking so now I wear gloves okay and it looks like we're getting some buckling here and that's because we're shrinking the canvas but we'll fix that afterwards we'll restretch it a little bit afterwards okay here we go are we ready Let's uh, let's get the black flow troll, and we are just gonna spread some around the outside, I guess. And to make this a little bit quicker, I am gonna take off the little spout, so we just have this, and I'm just gonna start, you know, like right in here. I think we're just gonna start this like this. And I just want to create like a flow. Probably should have done this first without everything, but that's okay. Because we can still fix that, right? Yeah, you can definitely do this without all that on there. In fact, I might just take it off. So, and that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take this out of the way. And we are going to take... I love this little guy. This guy I also found at the Dollar Tree, and it's just perfect. Just kind of like want to spread this. It's not really black, is it? Yeah, I just want to spread this around just to help with the flow. Before I used to just use my fingers and just smash it all over. But now that gloves are becoming kind of a shortage with this COVID-19, uh, I'm reusing a lot of my gloves. Just washing them. So the less dirty they get, the better it is for me, I guess. Oh yeah, that looks good. It's looking good. And if you can hear my cat sneezing. He's a... He's a a sniffle kitty. He's my special kitty. He's a lover. Yeah, and I'm just gonna prep these sides. Just prep them a little bit. And the black canvases. I saw those were on sale at Michael's. But I also read reviews on them and I wasn't quite sure yet. I didn't feel comfortable with all the reviews so I think I'll just wait. White ones are cheap enough but it would just be neat for the dark, the dark paintings that you want to do.
And I didn't prep the back side of this canvas. Um, I have in the past, but it seems like even when I prep it, it comes out kind of gross. So, you know, it's, to me, it's futile. Let's, let's make it look like artwork. And if it's not perfect, then, you know, screw it. Because it's artwork, right? It's whatever you want it to be. Oh, we're getting close. I'm loving this. Okay. And I don't know how many times you're supposed to do this, truly. But while this is here and I do see some air bubbles, uh, my torch, I'm like, feel kind of un, not in my place. I redecorated my home room, so like a lot of my stuff is not in this place it was a week ago, so I'm relearning everything. So my Dremel, check this out. I love it, I absolutely love it. I use it on my woodwork, painting, everything. Alright, so we're just going to really quickly just run it over the top. And watch. Watch right here. You can see that? Oh, look at that. Bam. Who's your mama? Get rid of all them nice little air bubbles. Oh, I like it. There we go. Okay. Sorry, this is turning out to be a long video, but it's my first one, so we're taking it slow. I think we're ready. So we're going to put this in the middle. We're going to put this on top. Hopefully that stays there. And my hope is that we'll have colors coming off the side. So what I'm going to do is because I started off with a dark color, I'm going to work backwards in the color spectrum. So I'm going to try to go with like my darker colors first and then I'll finish off with a lighter color. That way I don't um, get my colors muddy. I don't want any kind of mud. Oh, and we're looking a little thick there, aren't we? That's not good. It's not what I'm wanting. Come on, baby, flow through there. There we go. Now we're seeing what I want. Okay. So we'll do a little bit blue. Let that flow. Flow, baby, flow. We're gonna add some purple. And it doesn't matter at what stage, you can fill this up halfway. You know, just do whatever you wanna do. Oh my God, I'm loving this, check this out. Okay. I'm going to use a pink, so it'll blend nicely with that purple. I wonder if we should do a hint of black in there just to separate. You know what, we're just going to do a little black. Just a little, watch. Just enough for a little bit push out. Okay. Yeah, my paint is a little thick for what I'm doing, but we can uh, take care of that at a later date on a different one. This is the first time doing this one, so I was uh, curious to see how it was going to work out. And I like it, but like I said, it's a little thick. But I mean, it should eventually run. And here's the last color in the spectrum. I'm going to do some of that. What do we think? Keep going. Okay, we're going to do a little bit more black. So we can separate. Okay. I think we're obviously needing more color. It's not flowing so well. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to actually go ahead and squirt all these again with another squirt of water. Well, that stuff's flowing out. Okay. 
trying to mix these up as fast as I can without getting air into them. Oh, I didn't wipe off that stick good enough. That's okay. Okay, good there. Oh my god, that was looking so neat. Look at that. And at one time, I must have put some silver in there, because if you look really close, you can see it. Sorry about this. I should have gone thinner. I knew I should have, but that's okay. Alright, so we've got the black. Okay, we are going to go... Oh, that was not good. Purple. Pink. Green. Orange. Pink. I should have done a black in between those two because they're just really close. You know, we're going to go again. We might use all of these cups. We're about down to half now. Just on what I mixed up. Okay, and in between these we're going to add a little black, just to break up those two colors since they're kind of close. Okay, and go back to the orange. I have all my colors laid out to the side here. That way I know what sequence I'm in. That way if I want to do something in between, I can. All right, let's uh, let's give this a second. And you can see right here how it's it's helping it to flow. I, I think I may add a little bit more. Maybe I'm not flowing very well. We're just gonna add this to the back side there and here. But, uh, this is going to be a lot of wasted paint, but you know what? That's okay. I'm liking this. I don't want to run it. Okay. I don't know. We've got some more left. Should we do one more? Or a little bit farther on that side than this side. I do see some f cells forming, which is cool. Uh, I think I want to do one more. Okay, let's do one more. One more, and then we're going to call it good. Okay, I'm going to put some in there. And... Alright, welcome back. <clears throat> what had happened was I was just talking and talking and talking, and there was no camera. Yeah, my battery ran out. So I'm back. And what I did was I went ahead and hit it with my heat gun just to add a little bit more cells. And we're just watching the cells form a little bit here and there. Um, what I am going to do is I have a better stick somewhere. Okay, well we're just going to reuse this one. I'm just going to take all the drips off the sides, off the bottoms. Just like that. So that they don't dry that way. I probably should still have my gloves on because I'm probably going to end up having to lift this up.
I just found that if you keep the big drops of paint off, it's a little bit easier to keep it clean. You know, and somewhat more professional, I guess. I mean, it is art, but you've got some people out there that expect everything to be, you know, like store-bought. Perfect. Perfect what they want. Okay, I'm liking this. Okay, so I'm going to let it sit again. And I'm just going to monitor it. Maybe in like five minutes I'll come back and scrape the bottoms again. You don't want to scrape the bottoms too much. Because as you're pulling away, the paint will tend to glide with it. So then you get kind of like diagonal. Diagonal looks down your sides. So, okay. We're good. See you soon. Good morning, everyone. Well, it's the next day, and our painting has somewhat dried. You can kind of see it with the reflection. Looks like those are oil spots on top of the surface. Um, I did stretch it out just a little bit more, as you can tell. I was worried about it being too thick and possibly cracking. So, you know, I think I'm going to name this, since we did this on Easter, it's going to be my Easter lily. And, you know, my colors got a little bit dark, but I'm okay with it because once we varnish it, or seal it, or what do we decide to do with the top of it? It's going to bring those colors out, and it's going to look really, really nice. Alrighty, so from Colorado, have a nice day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.